Hello and welcome back to Animal Crossing. Today I just want to give you guys a tour of my 5 star island. Hopefully to give you guys some ideas for your own island or you can give me some ideas for my island for the empty spaces I have. Now starting here at the airport, let's get right into it. Alright, as soon as you leave the airport, I have this space here. You got Nook's Cranny here and then we got... Uh, a little walkway here but whenever i'm doing like trading on like nook is on or whatever or if someone comes over for like the turnip prices and all that i can put blockades here if i don't want them to visit my island and then they can just go do whatever or uh, do trades here so it's a nice little like plaza area i can just drop items and all that and yeah just a little plaza area for all that something i am a little slightly irritated about is that this doesn't quite evenly line up with the front door. It messes with my OCD ever so slightly. And then you got a little lockbox here where you can put some bells in. As you can see, I don't got any on me right now, but if you feel inclined, you can put bells there. Now continuing on this way, we got some Lily of the Valleys here for when you get a uh, five star. You can get those. So I got them lined up here. Just want to have them along the pathway here. Because they just look cool. And then we'll come up to that in a minute and but here is my house I uh, got some blue roses here and then got these blue flowers here I eventually want to put um, more blue roses here or do um, golden roses I think that would be cool but I haven't quite decided yet so you can guys let me know in the comments and before we continue on not much going on, on the beach got a surfboard Got a little chillaxing here, got a cooler and all that, got a little froggy slide. And this is Frederick, yeah, he just, he's our lifeguard, he just chills there. And then we got a rock over there, and I have a sword behind it, kind of like a King Arthur kind of thing. But just don't pan up and you see that it's actually behind it. But yeah, visually, it looks cool. I just have that there until I move all my rocks into one formation spot you'll see later in the video and then we got some uh mario stuff here because why not i like mario got another rock out of place and we'll continue going this way and then over here first like attraction is we got a casino thought it'd be cool have a casino got the abd here so you can take out your bells and all that so yeah, got a concession stand, and if people come to my island, and if they choose to, you can put in 10,000 bells, and if it lands on this flower here, like, come on, nope, well, if you win, uh, land on the flower, then you get 100,000 bells, so it's kind of like your own slot machine, so yeah, oh, that's kind of cool, oh, yeah, all the slot machines and all that, got a pool with some lots, and actually, these uh, slot machines here, um, if you play Pocket Camp and complete the tutorial and link your Nintendo account to it, you can actually get these next time you log in. I believe it's next time you log in. That or it's the next day, like in your uh, Nook Shopping. Then over here on the beach, we just got a little net, because why not? Not much going on down there. I haven't really de decorated the beach very much. That I want to eventually. I just don't know how or with what. But we got um, some like different games here. Oh. oh, you can actually hit the ball. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, we got a little carnival going on here. I didn't know what to do with this area. I thought it was pretty cool. Ferris wheel. Got a train. Got a lighthouse. Lighthouse isn't on because it's not quite dark yet. But yeah. Gotta have the lighthouse. And then we'll go across this way. This is where we, I put the campsite here. Cause I want, whenever the tent isn't there, it kind of looks like a stage. So like this is like a performing area whenever there's not a villager. So that's kind of like the vibe I was going for. And you'll see these mannequins around quite a bit. It's because I'm trying to move all my rocks into a specific spot on my island so that I can just go to that one spot and hit all the rocks. 
and it just saves me some time than going around my entire island. So I'll just place a mannequin so that the rock doesn't spawn there or next to it. And yeah, it's got some villagers houses here. Got some mums here. And like I said, there's there's the there's mannequin again. And yeah, we'll go down there in a minute. Going off this way. Got our villagers houses. And we got Godzilla here performing. Got this little band here. And you see up there, there's my throne. Because, you know, every king needs a throne. But yeah, we got Godzilla performing there. And then this is a little, like, park slash camping type area. There you got your slide and all this and that. Pretty cool. Uh, I actually believe I did this on stream. So if you want to check the Animal Crossing playlist and watch me build that, then you can do so there. And we got this little workout area. Uh, pretty cool. And let's go down here. And then we've got this bridge here into a Zen garden. And I'm actually pretty happy with this. I like how it turned out. I don't like the fact that these lights don't light up. That's kind of a uh, kind of sad, but you gotta work with what you got. I believe they light up at night. I'm not sure. Yeah, a little hammock here. You know, just take a little nap. Don't get sunburnt though. And then coming up over here, we're gonna get a little sad for a little second. We got this little graveyard here, and the reason for it is. I've recently lost two of my pets. Uh, they sadly passed away. So I just wanted to pay a little, pay my respects for them in this game and did little graves for them. So yeah, that's what that is. And then going over here, we got KK performing, you know, doing his thing. And then we got this little park area with all these flowers and this leads you back to the beginning area. So yeah, that's what I got going on over here. You know, just chill, drink my coffee from Brewster. Goodbye, bugs. So yeah, thought this was pretty cool. Full of nature. Now let's go over here. We got a we got our museum there. And then Sable Sisters. Hello, Moth. I want you. Yeah, Moth Man. Yeah. Anyways, got distracted. Not much going on over here. And then go over here. Got more blue roses decorating. More stuff on the beach. Um, but like I said, I haven't done much for the beach. But for this area where all those um, pear trees are, I'm going to like, clear that whole area out and do like a space station type thing there. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I just got to wait and get those items then up here is the money maker this is where I get all my bells so in here we got our orchard for all our different fruits let's shake the trees and get all of our fruits and we see hopper here is just vibing vibing with it vibing with the butt fruit and then as you saw earlier got a throne gotta have a throne you can't be a king without a throne I'm trying to get a proper one because there's actually one in the game, but I've just my luck has been terrible and I don't want to time travel. Not a fan of time traveling, but if that's what you want to do, you you can time travel. This is not how I play the game. We got our pumpkins here, you know, just doing their thing. Then down here, got this pathway, so whenever um, Red is here, you can just easily get to them and not have to use a ladder and all this all this and that then over here got our tomatoes got quite a bit actually need to pluck them and then here we have our nursery so got my blue flowers here letting them just grow and do their own thing actually need to water them come here yeah take that water oh, it's gonna take forever if I do this Anyways, got our blue roses there. Just got these trying to get um, either more reds or black. 
uh, these get white, and then these are supposed to give me special red, like this one right here. And once I can get special red, I can then make more blue roses, naturally. Because I got these off of Nookazon. Uh, speaking of which, if you don't know what Nookazon is, it's basically a um, website or an app where you could um, put items up for sale, uh, like Amazon. But instead of paying actual money, you're paying with bells. And then you can either go to their island or you can come. they come to yours and you can just exchange. So I got four blue roses, then just been letting them grow over time. Yeah, and why blue roses are so special, by the way, as you can see, I got one in my mouth, just holding it on. Um, blue roses, they are the most expensive flower, I believe. Don't quote me on that. But they sell for a thousand bells each. And um, including the petals, like you can just take the petal and sell that for a thousand. So you can make money that way if you want to, but it's not like the best way. But another reason why they're um, so like amazing is, and why people want them so much is because there's like a 0.1% chance of actually getting them. So yeah, they're pretty rare. Like they're the rarest flower in the game. So I, so I just went and got some. Then I'm trying to see if I want to get them naturally. And also I just want all my flowers to be placed with roses. Because I like how the roses look compared to these. So I just want to get roses. So it's a little more nursery there. And then continue one on down here. Almost skipped over this. We got our sugar cane, you know. That's how I make my money as well. Let's pluck all those. And like I said earlier with all the mannequins. This is where I want all my rocks to be. So just trying to get them all moved. And once I can get them all moved. Then... Don't want to worry about all the mannequins just standing around. Anyways, moving on, we got our wheat farm here. You now, doing that thing, just twirling around. And over here, we got Mr. Urgh, you know, scarring the tree, because why not? Doing his thing. And then we got the potatoes. Got to hit the potatoes. We ain't having no Irish famine around in these parts. Got our, got our, uh, Potatoes. Sorry, I got distracted by this bug. Come here. Hey, <laughs> hey. Gotcha. But yeah, I'm just doing it like one rock at a time. That's why you're seeing like rocks here and there. Because yeah, I just don't want to uh, break them all and then worry about um, where they're all going to spawn. So I'd rather just do it one at a time. You stay away from me, Mr. Mosquito. I am not a fan of you. So I'm just going to get rid of you. Oh, okay. Goodbye, Net. Cool. I didn't want a net anyways. Yeah, more flowers here. And that brings us back over here. That's pretty much everything for my island. So, if you guys got any ideas, or if you got the uh, words, hello. If you got any ideas from my island, then let me know down in the comments of what thing you liked best about my island. Things uh, I, things you think I should add, and uh, yeah, and if you want to, you guys want a house tour, uh, let me know down in the comments, and I will do that. And we can also do a museum tour as well in the same video. I right, and nope, get away from me, mosquito! I heard you. Oh, I don't have a net. Oh no. Anyways, while I'm running from the mosquito, you can hit that like button, and if you're new, hit that subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.